Oh, many people who rushed to escape the flames last week are now returning finally to their homes for the very first time tonight. They're also sharing their stories of survival. A kick and eyes Chris Holmstrom is live in Agora Hills right now where he spoke to several homeowners tonight. Probably very thankful they'll sleep in their own beds, right Chris? Yeah, very thankful. But right now in this area, this area is blocked off. That's because there's some hot spots down Canyon Road. There's also Edison working on power lines, but just a few blocks down the road in Liberty Canyon. That's where I spoke to those homeowners, and they are just thankful to be home tonight. Home sweet home for Brian Blaker and his family. They've been evacuated since early Friday morning. This picture shows just how close the Woolsey fire got to their Agora Hills home. Whenever the fire starts behind Bell Canyon or over in Chatsworth, the pathway with the Santa Ana winds is straight to the ocean. Nothing's going to stop it. The Blakers packed up their car and left right away. There's one way in and one way out of this canyon, like Bell Canyon. You know, you got to get out, otherwise you're in the in the fire department's way. After four long days, they are back home, exhausted from the unknown. But it's not time for rest. Blow the smoke out of the house, because you know, even though it doesn't smell smoky out here, the uh, smoke got trapped in the house. Um, clean the pool. There's a lot of ash and leaves and stuff in the pool. Um, probably cut back some of the trees a little bit tighter away from the house. <laughs> Massimo Forti lives right down the road. Home is good. A little bit of smell inside. We left uh, by accident. You know, we don't out at 2 in the morning and we left uh, one of the windows half open. So we have a little bit of smell. Forti and his family also evacuated. But when the fire first started, they thought they were safe and did not expect it to jump the 101. But it did. My wife just jumps in the bed is like we gotta go we gotta go and um, yeah everybody just let run out and, and oh, here look like uh, Armageddon a similar picture played out across the area dozens of homes were destroyed but thankfully for the firefighters many homes survived they're the guys who you know they run towards danger as opposed to away from it so that's all you can say and I'm told if you live in this area of Canaan Road and Agora Road, you are allowed to walk back in. You just can't drive your vehicle in. So if you drive out of the neighborhood, you can't drive back in. Reporting live from Agora Hills, I'm Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News. Okay, Chris, thank you.